I love hearing from the bell choir. Something about bells that just says Christmas, right? The sound, the beauty, and I guess years ago you would have heard church bells ringing on Christmas Day, and maybe times have changed, but there's, there's still another thing that reminds me of Christmas, and that is snow. Snow is this amazing thing that falls from heaven, and it covers this world with a whole new look. It blankets it in this beautiful white sheet. And things that are dirty or things that are ugly or things that are damaged or broken, suddenly with the snow, they're transformed and magical. My house looks so much better with the snow and the, the layer on the little roof and on the sidewalk and the shrubs and in the front yard. And I think about how this snow teaches us about God. It comes from heaven. It covers our world. It blankets us. Every snowflake is unique. Every snowflake is beautiful. And you know, it reminds me of that first advent when God sent his son into this dark world, into our sin-stained world to make it look better, to make it feel better. And I don't know how 2020 has been for you, but I know that you are covered in grace. I know this world is covered in grace because of Jesus coming, because of his life, and most importantly, because of his death. You see, Jesus provided new hope for us. And 2020 has been a tough year. And from what I've heard, domestic violence is up, divorce is up, relationships are strained, People are struggling. Jobs have been lost. Some of us don't know where the next paycheck will come from. But you know what? There is one who knows. There is one who understands. There is one who has been tempted in all points, just as we are. Yet he didn't sin. And he provided this blanket of grace to cover our sins so that we don't have to worry anymore. He provided this blanket of salvation so that we could be forgiven. I don't know about you, but forgiveness is something I need every day. Not just from my God, but from my wife, from my kids, from my family, probably even from our pet hamster. I mean, forgiveness is just something that we need because we're hurting, we're broken. And this year has been a tough year and we may not have brought out the best in us. But maybe in the falling snow, maybe at this time of year when we see the Christmas lights and all the holiday traditions, it will point our minds to Jesus Christ. It will point our minds to the one who offers forgiveness full and free. The one who says to us, I am the light of the world. You do not have to live in the darkness of your depression. You do not have to live in the darkness of your hatred. You do not have to live in the darkness of your unforgiveness. You do not have to be bound by guilt, by shame. You can be free. You can be delivered. You can have my salvation full and free, covered in the white robe of Christ's righteousness. You can start that right here, right now. You know, the new year is just around the corner. And this Christmas is your time to do that soul searching inventory and say, God, what do I really need? What do I really want? Because I think you'll notice you need some help. You need this blanket of grace. You need this unconditional love that falls from heaven without us even asking. It falls on the just and the unjust. It's available to you. It can change your life. It can change your family. It can change your job. It can change your heart. 
So this Christmas, as we look to the one who came to add brightness to this world, to add light to this world, as we look to the one who came to save your soul, to help you in times of stress and trial and darkness, who gave his life that you might live, this Christmas, Will you bring him into your life? Will you let him give you the gift that you need? Will you look to him to do in your life what only he can do? Because we need Jesus in our homes. We need him in our families. We need him in our lives. So bring him into your home and see what he can do for you in 2021. Make this the day that everything changes and you accept fully his grace.